would say the most interesting thing, I mean really fascinating, is the 3D printing. I think it's going to revolutionize everything. I think perhaps I would say exponentially more than even than the internet has revolutionized everything. The most typical industries that use this technology range from uh, automotive, aerospace, medical, consumer products. Um, so, you know, it's not uncommon to find these at any of the big three auto manufacturers. Uh, it's very common to find them in the leading air aircraft manufacturers, and as well as the toy companies, consumer products. In most cases, they started off using them as a tool to develop prototypes, or large quantities of prototypes, to go through the design process quicker. That's evolved today. The largest application for stereolithography equipment happens to be making patterns. The fastest growing area of additive manufacturing is in, is in selective laser centering, and it's where the technology is used for direct manufacturing of parts. And it's not unreasonable in the near future to look at parts inside your car or inside your airplane and know that those parts came off of a 3D printer. It'll be a production printer, and it'll probably be out of production grades of material like nylons or metals, um, but that's not too far off in the, in the distant future. The range of what you can use with this equipment and the materials is very vast. You can use it for end-use parts like in robotic arm extensions, as well as many other manufacturing parts and applications. So you're looking at food grade material, things such as uh, vacuum forming for food grade, as well as medical. So it really runs the gamut of the different applications and industries that can be used. So I see this becoming a mainstream solution for both manufacturing as well as some of the medical solutions. I'm seeing a lot of medical and dental areas starting to use this as part of their industry and company business structure.